In the Bible, it explains how you can know for sure that when you die, you will go to heaven. Most people have the idea that good people go to heaven and bad people go to hell. Well, you know, you know how good you'd have to be to go to heaven? You'd have to be as good as God. You'd have to be as good as Jesus. It's simple language in the Bible. Denominations have messed up things and the Word of God is the only way. Jesus said in the Bible that all the people in this earth that come here that are born are born of the flesh. And in order to go to heaven, a person needs to be born again. Jesus said in John chapter 3, in verse 3, Unless you're born again, you will never see the kingdom of God. Now something you have to realize, that Jesus came into the world for sinners. If you're a sinner, then that is who Jesus came for. He came for sinners like you and me. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the only way to heaven is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The man came to Jesus and said, What good work must I do in order to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, Believe on him whom he has sent. And who did God send? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the next verse says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's a Bible word, the word saved. Are you saved? It is easy for you to be saved. First admit that you are a sinner. And then that is your first step. Admit, no matter what your sin is. God says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white. God can make them white. Jesus came and Jesus died on the cross and became sin for us. And God the Father punished the sin in Jesus so that you don't have to be punished for your sin. You know, people say keep the commandments, the Ten Commandments are a good thing, and the Ten Commandments are to show us how far from God we are. None of us can keep the Ten Commandments. They are there to show us that we are sinners. Admit to God that you are a sinner. Jesus shed his blood on the cross. Without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins. God commands every, everyone to repent. To repent is to change your mind and agree with God that you are a sinner. And agree that Jesus did for us on the cross what we can't do for ourselves. In uh, the scriptures it says, in Acts 16 verses 30 31, it says, the question was asked, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Simply believe on him as the one who bore your sin and died on the cross for you. And receive him as your Savior. It says in John 1, 12, But as many as receive him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever means you. If you call on the name of the Lord, realize you're a sinner, and ask him to come into your heart and repent of your sin and pray a prayer to God, a sinner's prayer, something like this. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I believe Jesus was my substitute when he died on the cross. I believe his shed blood 
death, burial, and resurrection were for me. I now receive him as my Savior. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins, the gift of salvation, everlasting life, because of your merciful grace. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's a simple case of, are you going to accept the gift of God? Or are you going to reject the gift of God? For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? It is not a profit at all. So I, I close this little thing explaining the best I know how for you to come to Jesus, accept him as your Savior, get into the Bible. I might add, get into the old King James Bible. Because there are many perversions of the Word of God out there that the devil has used to deceive people. So get into the good old King James Bible. Not the new King James, the good old King James Bible. God bless you. Amen.